Okay, everyone, today we are going to hopefully make something somewhat like my snowflake here with your name on the bottom, and uh, we can take this home for Christmas. So before we start, I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to name it snowflake, and then please put your name as well, and then you need to hit enter. This is where you can get somewhat creative. I will take you through a few basic steps on what to do, and then your creativity will go through there. Um, the first thing I would like you to grab is a polygon. Okay. Now, I'm going to click here, and I want everything to be the height of 3. It is the perfect size right now. It's 17.32 and 20. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Control D, or if you're using a Mac, Command D, and I have made it duplicated. I'm going to make it a hole, and I want to make it a little smaller, but I want to hold Shift when I'm doing it, so I'll do that again. I hold Shift, I click on the corner, I bring it in a little bit smaller. Then I'm going to drag this one to the side. I need to readjust this to the height of three. Select both, align here and here. Then I select them again and group them. That's the first step. That's gonna be the center of our snowflake. The next thing I want you to do is please grab a cylinder. We click on the corner, we change this to 9, this to 9, and our height is this one right here, and we change it by 3. Okay, then I'm going to put that up there. I'm also going to um, grab a box, and I'm going to drag that in, and it is going to be 3 by 40. And then the height again by 3. We want everything the same height. Okay, so I've got this and this. I'm going to kind of drag them close together. I'm going to duplicate this again, so Control D or Command D. And I'm just going to move it to the side. And I'm going to make that um, circle a little smaller so I can have a hole in there. So I can uh, hang it to, from the tree. And I'm going to make this 5 make this 5 and then just double check if my height is 3 yes it is now I click on that I'm gonna make it a hole I click on it again I hold shift I click on this I want to align and I want it right in the center again and then just like I did with the polygon I'm going to group them now look at that I have a hole now I can even align these two as well I can select them both at the same time, align. Uh, this takes a little bit of figuring out for you to figure this out, and I click there. That looks good, and then I can just bring this down to the desired spot. I'm going to select it. I'm going to group it so they don't move anywhere. Then I'm going to bring it right about in the center of this. It needs to go to the right. There we go. That looks great. Now my snowflake, you know, everyone's is different, and I'm going to do a couple different things here. I'm going to bring another box in, and again, I want the height as 3. I'm going to make this 3 as well, and I don't want it to go all the way out. We'll, we'll, see, what, uh, we'll see what 20 looks like, but what I need to do is I need to turn it to a 60 degree angle. So if I just bring it this way, it's just going to give me generic degrees. But if I bring my mouse out a little bit, you can see now I can get to the exact degree. That's perfect. Right like that. I'm going to put that right there. That might be a little too long, so I might change that to say 9 and 9. To me, that looks a little better. Now what I can do is I can go Control-D, 
which I've duplicated it. I come up here, I click flip, and I want to flip it like this, and then I'm going to move it this way. Now look at that. Now that looks pretty even to me. Now I can gr grab both of these. I can go Command D or Control D, and I can bring them down again. And I have a new variation there, which looks pretty good. Okay, maybe I want to add another one in there just for fun. Again, you do not have to follow this. There's many examples of these on YouTube. Okay, there's the start of my snowflake. Now, if I was to select all of this, group it, okay, I'm going to duplicate it. But I want to now rotate that 60 degrees again. And I'm going to bring it right here. Okay, and I'm going to duplicate it again, rotate it 60 degrees, going the wrong way, and bring it right here. I'm going to do that again, duplicate. Bring it around 60 degrees, put that right here, duplicate, oopsies, let's get rid of that one, duplicate, bring it around to 60, bring it back up here, and we have one more to go. Duplicate, 60. You can just come in here and type it if you wanted to as well. Okay, pretty good start right there. I'm going to select them all. Next, I'm going to group it. Okay, now I want my name at the bottom. This is a pretty boring snowflake, but you get the point of the video. You can add more as you go on. Now, to get that box at the bottom, it's very important. I bring in, because I want everyone's name on there, I'm going to make another circle, just as I did before, 9 by 9, Okay, and make sure the height is again 3. And I'm going to bring that circle right over top of this circle. We're going to cover that one up, so there's no hole in that. Okay, Then I'm going to bring a box in. And I am going to make it 55 on the bottom and 15 at the top and again a height of 3. Okay, that might be, that looks like a pretty good size and I'm going to put that right there, right in the middle. Then I'm going to bring some text in. That is way too big but that's okay. I'm going to call it Mr. Page. I'm going to put my name on there. And maybe I want to change the font a little bit. That's okay. Now, if I hold shift and drag this corner down, I can get a desirable spot to put this. But wait, I need to change my height on this because I want it to pop a little bit. I'm going to go from 3 to 4, and it will show a little bit of a pop. Now, what I can do is if I hold this, I click on my name. Then I hold shift and I click on, I have both of those selected. Might be easier if I just do this. I can also align and make it perfectly aligned with that. Then if I hold control A or command A on a Mac, I group it all together. There is my snowflake. It is ready to go.